drawing to the end of uh, Friday at the first day of the three-day outdoor leisure show, the new show at the NEC. Uh, Andy and I have uh, thought we'd have a couple of minutes to uh, reflect on our thoughts. Uh, it is half term, so uh, there's uh, a reasonable number of uh, families with uh, with children here, certainly. And there's been one or two stands that have certainly attracted the children's attention, such as the uh, the bushcraft stand where they're doing lots of demonstrations, uh, canoeing, climbing, and of course some stunt cycling. Uh, but the the rest of the stands are a bit of a mix, a mix between people showing products and selling products, and also uh, products that not necessarily associated with the outdoors. That's true. I mean, it's a small show, and I guess this isn't the same show that we've traditionally visited here, and that's moved out to London. So I guess this is a, a new stab at something different by the organisers. And I guess it's not the best of times, really, economically, to launch a new show, but, but it is quite small and, and uh, difficult to see where the niche is, and I think difficult to see where the future of this kind of show goes. Yeah, I think uh, from a commercial point of view, um, most of the stands I've spoken to certainly said it's, it, it is obviously an expense to attend the show, but it's also the amount of money that visitors have to spend. It's £15 to get in, um, which is a sizable amount of money if you're a family of four, uh, and that's £15 a head. It's, uh, it certainly adds up. Uh, is it really value for money? I don't think it is. I mean, I think if you, these days, I suspect people would come expecting to see a lot more opportunity to buy cut price kit and there really isn't that much really there's some power mower here as usual doing reasonably well although certainly not quite as well as in uh, usual years but they always do well and they've, they've got some discount stuff on their stall but not a great deal and um, there are a couple of other um, shops that I've got um, featuring four or five manufacturers but it, it, it's not even really a place you come to get a good bargain is it I mean uh, people like Alpkit are obviously here and um, plugging hard their um, value for money gear but um, I, you know I guess you look around and you think well we are still in the middle of a very difficult economic time. Definitely uh, as you say you've got Outkit, you've got um, Yeomans, Go Outdoors of course inevitably the Go Outdoors get everywhere um, but then round the outside you've got some spurious stands that are to do with wool or to I mean there's a guy there and they're selling toy helicopters. Yeah, there is, yeah, yeah. And uh, quite a lot of uh, slightly wacky, hippie-ish type um, stuff on the fringe as well. One of the things there is this year, there's, um, there's a reasonably good display of tents. Now, most of them are static tents, but the new Terra Nova range is here, and that was interesting to have a look at. Yeah, I think there's definitely a place to, to see more of this sort of uh, equipment, but um, whether it's worthwhile making the, the trip to, if this is going to be the future of this type of show, this sort of size and cost, whether it's actually value for money for visitors as well as uh, exhibitors, um, I, I really don't know. No, well, you can look at something like some of the Terra Nova tents, and it is the new range, and you can, you can think, well, at least you have a chance to handle them and feel them. But with a company like that anyway, their, their quality control should be such that you don't really need to do that. Um, again, with the Alp kit gear, you can have a look at their sleeping bags um, and, you know, just just check the quality of what they do against the price. And I think they'll probably do quite well because if you're looking at down clothing, um, down bags, down jackets, I mean, they're offering exceptional value for money. Um, but there actually isn't that much to spend your money on here. And... You know, whether it's worth coming all the way, whether it's worth coming 100 miles or so just to have a look at a new Terra Nova tent, I've got my doubts about that. Mm. I do get the feeling that a lot of stands' space has been filled in randomly. Um, and it's nice to see sort of slightly alternative uh, areas of interest, like the people I spoke to, the Farm Stay and some of the independent hostel associations, all little companies that are, are pushing their their services to the outdoors uh, community, which is which is good. But certainly, the you can see there's a lot of dead spaces that I think the organisers have just filled in randomly to um, to give it a better presentation. Well, one of the things that's always been interesting in the NEC shows certainly over the last three or four years, um, have been the smaller stands, and particularly the, the local tourist organisations um, that have set out to really sell their little part of the country. And um, that's kind of missing this year, really. There is a little bit of that, but you can see that um, presumably people have been down to the big show uh, in London, which was had a really strange time. It was two weeks after New Year, which I guess is not a good time for... To encourage people to go out and spend money, um, but but uh, 
we're, we're missing that whole range of things that I think just gave it a little bit of something different. You know, you used to be able to stumble on something you never thought of before, and, it, and you're really not getting that effect here. Yeah. And what about um, having the, the caravan and camping or the caravan and boating show in the other four halls next to it? I see there's a lot of cross fertilisation through the doors of people going through from this show to those and, and vice versa. I don't know if they're bringing any money with them, though. I doubt it. I mean, you have to go and have a look at that because there's just not enough to look at here. I don't mean to be negative and critical about it because I think it must be pretty difficult to launch a new show like this. But you walk into the camping and caravan show and it's like walking into another dimension. I think if there's one theme that runs through both of these shows, it's the... Um, the kind of family camping or caravanning theme. If you look at the tents in the the main outdoor uh, show, um, there's a lot of tents that would really be quite good value for money as static sites, you know, for a couple of people having a walking holiday or a holiday in the summer or taking a couple of small children with them. You can see how uh, this kind of stuff works quite well for that that kind of market. And to be fair, you know, we've all been through it ourselves with our own children. You know that. You know, for, for 10 years of your life, that's a pretty good holiday. Yeah, there's a time and a place for it. So. Um, but, but that's really, I think, where the focus is going to be. And that's, that's where it's at, at least in these two shows.